Hello and welcome, dear SimRacers. Uh, this is just a small little video to show you how to do driver swaps in R Factor and Endurance races. Um, I was in that voice chat with Matt, Matthew Sipagnoni, um, and we were basically going through that real quick for you there. With our Silverstone 1000 coming up uh, on the forum, that has been asked quite a bit. Uh, I mean, I made a post on the forum, uh, it is also linked in the description of this video, but I thought it would be easier to just make it as a video, and that's why we got it here. First things first, uh, as you can see in the menu already, you need to have a passenger select button. Both drivers need to have a passenger select button bound anywhere, either keyboard, wheel, controller, whatever. I think by default it's P, in my case it's the P key, and alright, that's good. Um, next up, we're joining the server with two drivers, driver A and driver B. In my case, I am driver A, from my point of view, as you can see, so I'm joining as a driver normally, but Matt, whose point of view you should see right about now, he will join as a spectator. He's driver B in that case. The rest will all happen on track, and I will explain it there briefly. Okay, I have my 956 set up here, that's good. I'm just going to load that real quick. What's important is, I also, I also sent it to Matt, so we'll have it both on mine and his screen. What you need to do is as click the assign button, assign it as default. So you see at the top of my screen here it says default factory defaults. Set it to uh, s assign, and now Default will be 79 GPC Silverstone 956 in my case. On Matthew's point of view, you will see the same thing. He will be in spectator mode, and of course, well, he'll he will do the same. Be otherwise, it's otherwise when you do the driver swap, it's gonna reset back to the, the default setup, to the factory default, which is gonna be horrible for you if you have set yourself up for a certain setup. Anyway. I'll go out on track real quick. Alright, uh, we're now on board with myself. I have nothing currently as far as pit stops is concerned. That's okay. But now switching to Matthew's point of view. Switching to Matthew's point of view, he's in spectator mode. What's important is obviously you have set up your car. You have set up the, you have put the setup as your standard setup. That's fine. Now you have to find your driver. In in this case, in this example, I am the driver. I'm driver A, Matthew is driver B. Driver B has to find driver A, left click on him, and press the passenger select button, which you will do now. As you can see, in Matthew's chat box there is now a message, you are now riding with Pascal Mikula. I just got a message saying, Matthew Sipagnoni is now riding with you. That's good. Because now, Matthew can click race and he will land in my car in his cockpit view. Which we'll show as well. I can now request a pit stop. Wherever that is, there it is. And it's now very important as driver A is driving and preparing for his pit stop to of course do the fuel, do the tires, every setup change you need. And then down here is the driver. You can now select between driver A and driver B. In my case, driver A is P. Mikola, driver B is M. Sibagnoni. Get into the pits. Okay, now we're getting into the pit stall. I'm already switching off my engine. And now there will be a message right here. Driver 20 seconds, you lose control in 15 seconds. What's happening right now is my engine is off, Matthew is in my car, and in about 5 seconds the engine will turn back on and Matt will be driving. I think we'll show that right now. There we go. And that is how it works. And I think the setup is also loaded. You can see I am now in spectator mode, Matt is driving. I can look around, because I'm not driving right now, it's Matt who's driving. What I can do now is press P, 
I am no longer riding with Matt Simonioni. Matt, Matt just got the message, Pascal Mikula is no longer riding with you. As you just did that, you can now escape out, leave the server, and you can now do your stuff, whatever you want to do. Uh, eventually, when you want to rejoin, you need to, first of all, make sure in the settings that you have the spectator mode on. If you don't have that on, if you have it off and you try to join the session during the race, you will get the current session is closed error message. So you have to turn on spectator mode, you join the server normally with IP and password, and then you take your car. Although, it doesn't really matter what car you take. I could take anything. I could take a BMW M1 and join the server because eventually, in, 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 in actual fact, is you don't have any car when you join as a spectator. You're a spectator. And then what you can do, obviously, is rejoin, look for your driver, and then, you know. But let me explain it on track. When I rejoin, I'm currently on board Steve Velocity, who's right behind Matt. There's Matt. I can now press P. As you can see down in my chat box, I am now riding with Matthew Sipagnoni. On Matt's point of view, you see he just got the message I am now that I am riding with him. He's now requesting a pit stop and making the driver change. Like he's he's now selecting me as the driver. I can now click race, which I just did. I'm now in Matt's car, which he's sharing with me in this case. And as soon as he gets to the pits, the driver swap will take place again. Okay, now Matt is now stopping, turning off the engine. And now, as driver B, you get the message you gain control in so and so many seconds. It's gonna be more than 20 seconds, obviously, because we, we just do like two laps and then, you know, there's not much to do as far as changing tires or fueling up goes. Three seconds. And then, I can drive again. As you can see, my, my, my plug and everything changes to driver. And I can now drive again. Matthew's point of view is back to as he started, as a spectator. He just pressed P to unhook himself from my car. And he can now leave the server, do whatever he wants, while I am trying... You know, while I'm trying to keep the car on the track. And that's about it. If you've got any questions, obviously, you can type them down in the comments of the YouTube video. You can ask us on Discord. And if you like this little bit of uh, how to do things, and if you want to drive it the Silverstone 1000, you haven't signed up yet, get come get on the forum. We're looking forward to you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Pascal and Matt from Classic Motorsport Hub. And yeah, so long. See you on track.